Hi everyone, this is Learning with Linda, and today I bring you an update regarding the summer PEBT benefits for the month of August. Guys, in this video, we're including the final list of the 43 states that are approved to receive the summer PEBT benefits. Of course, I also bring you the payout dates. Now, for those two specific states, New York and California, guys, check your cards. Both of these states, New York and California, are sending benefits for children in childcare. Then we also have the list of the seven states that unfortunately will not be getting the summer PEBT benefits. So make sure you guys stay until the end of this video to ensure that you receive this information. Now, before we get started, if you're interested in the latest news regarding stimulus, child tax credits, SNAP, PEBT, and everything in between, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button down below. Now let's get right to it. So here we have the list of the states who will not be receiving summer PEBT benefits. And so on this list, we do have Alaska, Idaho. The only exception is that Idaho will only participate in PBT this year for children in child care, meaning um, children under the age of six. And there's also Mississippi, Missouri, Montana, South Dakota, and the state of Texas. Remember, guys, that for the uh, for the, the deadline for the state to submit a plan for PBT was July 14th, which obviously passed. Then we also have New Hampshire. Now, New Hampshire was approved, guys, for the summer 2023 PEBT benefits. But here we're talking about school age children, meaning kindergarten through 12th grade. And it seems like that was approved on July 20th. So finally, guys, we have an update for those in the state of New York. Now, if you're in the state of New York and you have a child, um, children in child care under the age of six, definitely check your EBT cards for deposits. So the state of New York is starting to send out those 2022 through 2023 PBT benefits. Once again, for children in child care under the age of six, the state of New York will identify children who began school year 2022 through 2023 under the age of six and were part of a household that received SNAP. Now, as I mentioned in previous videos, the monthly benefit for the regular school year 2022 through 2023 is of $29. Now, I've read in some forums that some people are starting to see penny deposits of $29. Others seem to be receiving like two monthly benefits. So 29 times two, that would be 58. Others are receiving up to three monthly benefits, right? Which would be $87, 29 times three, 87, right? So definitely please check your cards for penny deposits for July 29th. So PEBT benefits will be issued to eligible children in child care retroactively for every month of the 2022 through 2023 school year from September 2022 through May of 2023. Now eligible children living in SNAP recipient households will be the first to receive benefits. New York will also deposit children in child care benefits into the SNAP account for children receiving SNAP when the benefits are issued. New York estimates that it will issue $73.0 million to approximately 290,000 SNAP enrolled children in child care from September of 2022 through May 11th of 2023. So as always, I want to show you exactly where I get my information from. So here we have this state plan for pandemic EBT children in school and child care 2022 through 2023 document, right? This one's dated September 8th of 2022. Now we go ahead and scroll down here to this little part right here where it says, um, Right here, average monthly PBT child care benefits is exactly where I pulled this chart from. Once again, the average monthly benefit, or most people are receiving $29, but again, um, people could be receiving different amounts because they're issuing two months or three months worth of benefits, right? Then remember for May, the reason why you're receiving $14 um, would be because remember that the emergency allotment ended halfway through May, so that's where exactly they got those $14. Next, we have an update for those in the state of California. So California, please check your mail. The PBT 4.0 cards are getting delivered first to eligible children in child care. And as I've been reading, some of these cards are loaded with $180 in PEBT benefits. And so let me show you exactly why. In California, all children, including those previously issued a PBT card and those that are newly eligible, will receive benefits on a newly issued card. The newly issued PBT card will be distinguishable as a PBT 4.0 card. All PBT benefits will be issued in the name of the eligible child 
and then each child will receive their own PEBT card. So here's a chart that I pulled from this very important document where it talks about the average monthly benefit. As you can see for fall, right, for children in childcare, it's from August through December of 2022. That is pretty much five months, right? And it seems like for every month here, according to this chart, they would pay $35.88. However, I have read reports that the PBT 4.0 cards are reported to be loaded with $180 in benefits. So what I'm assuming from there is that they're rounding these benefits up to $36 uh, per month. So 36 times 5, that's, a, that's what would equal the $180 in benefits. And aside from that as well, guys, don't forget that in California, eligible K-12 students, meaning uh, school-age children, are expected to receive PBT 4.0 cards with $120 in benefits for summer 2023 PEBT. So even though the CSS California Department of Social Services said that they will begin mailing the summer PBT cards from July 16th through August 30th, we are still waiting for a final confirmation from the agency, right? So all school children, including those previously issued a PBT card and those that are newly eligible will receive benefits on a newly issued card. So the newly issued PBT card will be distinguishable once again as a PBT 4.0 card. And then all PBT cards will be issued once again in the name of the eligible child and each child will receive their own PBT card. Now, I've been kind of looking at forums to see if there's anyone that has been reporting that they've received the PBT 4.0 card for school age children, meaning kindergarten through 12th grade. And so far, guys, I haven't seen anyone report that they've received their PBT 4.0 card yet. However, as soon as there's an update, I'll be sure to let you know. So once again, I want to show you exactly where I'm pulling my information from. So I actually found it on the uh, USDA website. And then let me go ahead and show you guys, it's down here on page, what would this be? Page nine of this document. You can see here's a chart and it's talking about the average monthly PBT childcare benefits for fall and spring semesters. Now, another state that is reporting to have been receiving these benefits when it comes to summer PEBT is the state of New Jersey. Now, there's been several reports of people receiving $120 for the summer PEBT benefits. Here, we're talking about eligible school age children. So students in grades kindergarten through 12th grade during the 2022 through 2023 school year who were approved for free or reduced price school meals through the National School Lunch Program are eligible for summer PEBT benefits. So a total benefit of $120 will be issued for each eligible child. And of course, it's going to depend on whether or not you receive SNAP benefits, right? So benefits will be issued on your existing family's first card if you receive SNAP on your most recently issued PBT card if you previously received PBT, or on a new PBT card if you never received a PBT card or you never received PBT benefits in general. And so here we have the final list of the 43 states that have been approved to provide the 2023 summer PEBT benefits. Once again, guys, this is the final list and it's updated as of today, July 27th. On this list, we do have Alabama, American Samoa, Arizona, Arkansas, California, Connecticut, Colorado, Delaware, District of Columbia, Florida, Georgia, Hawaii, Illinois, Indiana, Kentucky, Louisiana, Maine, Maryland, Massachusetts, Michigan, Minnesota, Nebraska, Nevada, New Jersey, New Mexico, New York, North Carolina, North Dakota, Ohio, Oklahoma, Oregon, Pennsylvania, Puerto Rico, Rhode Island, South Carolina, Tennessee, Utah, Vermont, Virginia, Washington, West Virginia, Wisconsin, and Wyoming. And as always, we're also including the payout date. So for the 2023 summer PEBT benefits of the 43 states that were approved, that includes Alabama depositing their benefits in the month of August, also Arizona in the month of August, California between July 16th through August 30th, Colorado late August, and then Florida end of, um, I'm sorry, August or even in the month of September. And also don't forget that these are estimated payout dates, so sometimes even the state could fall behind and things could change, right? So I always want to inform you of that. Then we also have Georgia. They'll be starting to send out their payout dates um, late June or if they're sending out their benefits, actually. Hawaii starting June 28th, Illinois in the month of August, Louisiana in the month of August, and Maine starting September 5th. For Michigan, it's between the month of August through September, then also Nebraska mid-September, New Jersey starting late June, 
New York between August through September 30th, North Dakota in the month of July all the way through August. For Oklahoma, it's mid-summer, Oregon August 15th through September 30th, Pennsylvania July 31st all the way through August 11th, South Carolina mid-August through the month of September, and then Tennessee starting June 16th. Then we also have Vermont sending out their benefits late August or even in the month of September, Virginia starting July 22nd, and Wyoming in the month of August. And that is all the updates that I have for today. Remember to turn on your notification button to know when I have uploaded a new video. See you guys next time.